out of the Southern Conference a week ago, 45-7. to The football is in the air in Pittsburgh. Pitt was seventh in the conference a season ago at 40% on third down. Jerkovic has the time, unloads another one. And that is way behind the intended receiver, Bob Means. Brayton Smith is the deep man for the Bearcats. Smith to his right at the 32. Dances up towards the 35 where he is forced out of bounds. They've known some great quarterback play here in Pittsburgh. Doesn't change tonight. Second down. This is Turner up the sideline and on the pit side of the 50. Aaron Turner with the run, and now a flag comes out late. We need to sort out the penalty marker. Look at this offensive line getting up and moving. Big John Williams leading the charge. Late hit out of bounds. Defense, number five. 15-yard penalty, and on that, first down. Number five, James, is Philip O'Brien, Jr. And get moving early on the ground. First down, up the middle for the Bearcats, and barreling his way is Corey Kiner. Kiner is inside the 15. He may have first down yardage. McIntyre and O'Brien Jr. combined on the stop. But that is a first down. 12 yards on the run for Kiner. This is going to open things up throughout the night if you're able to run it. Look at this hole that they create for him right here. Boom. Guys opening up. And great vision and patience and moves there for Kiner. This is a throw. Diving for the end zone is Singletary. And he's in for the Cincinnati touchdown. A 12-yard TD toss. Jones to Singletary for Cincinnati. Pretty good-looking opening offensive drive for the Bearcats. Yep, Carter Brown with the extra point. And they get two three and outs on this offense. Jerkovic dances. Tries to buy a little time in serious trouble. And he got rocked. <laughs> Man, you got to feel this choo-choo train coming. Bam. Staying away from the helmet. Here he gets his defense off the field once again. Well, seven yards on third down. Braden Smith has to backtrack to his 20 off the punt from Junko. It'll be a very short return to Smith. Second possession for Cincinnati. They went 64 yards and scored on their opening possession. Breaking free is Kiner across midfield. They're trying to chase him down. Kiner inside the 15, and they finally get to him near the 11. They've been tested. We heard about from those Cincinnati coaches, Pitt's going to try to play bully ball, bully ball, bully ball. Let's be the ones that bully. I'll guarantee you it was preached all week long because they're bullying them around. Carter Brown made his only field goal attempt from 46 yards a week ago, and that one is true. Defensively, find those sticks. Where are they trying to break those routes off at? Jacobic pressured. Just has to loft it up in the air, and it's caught at the 45. Mumfield angles his way to the Cincinnati 45. Taj Ward on the tackle. Well, you've got the pressure and a big hit probably late on Jerkovic, and I don't know, just as I said before the snap, where are they trying to run those routes? Where are they trying to get? Everybody turns and bails in that secondary. Personal foul. And they'll let him snap this ball, so maybe getting away with one right there. That was a 30-yard play to Mumfield. On the run to the near sideline and then forced out of bounds. Rodney Hammond Jr. One for three on third down of the game for the Panthers. Jerkovic has to improvise. Unloads inside the five. Fighting for that football. Dejon Reynolds for the Panthers. It's a first and goal. Wow. Tom, you kidding me? Look at Jawan Briggs. Huh? And Briggs was ready for it. Watch number zero on the left side just blowing things up. Nobody there for him. And he actually, I thought he was blowing up his blocker. Two for two on third down in this drive for the Panthers. Dracovic looks left, throws it to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Cut out a Mumfield. Comes up with the catch. 
Couple throws just too easy here on this one. First it was way back, the first third down conversion for Pitt. Ben Sauls for the extra point. Jones, incomplete. Team that finished the top two nationally the last four years in sacks. Fletcher the punt. Devonshire scoops it up. 35. Up near the 40 for Devonshire, a Super Bowl champion. And I think he's right. Breaking through the line. Clemenster past the 50. Clemenster makes a move inside the 30 and written out of bounds at the 25. What a luxury for an offensive coordinator, Frank Signetti, to have. Not just one back, but two, maybe even three on this pit team. You've got Flemister over there just stewing on the sidelines, waiting to get his chance, waiting his turn behind him, and this ball's on the ground, and bam. That was Flemister again after a 38-yard carry previously. Well, it happened last week. They picked up the ball, though, and went in for a touchdown against Wofford. It happened in the bowl game as well. I would need him all week long getting ready for that bowl game. Dracovic floats that one to the goal line incomplete. This is 42 yards away for Ben Sauls to tie us. Sauls misses. Second and nine for Emory Jones. The senior lets it go. Open man, 45 yard line. That's first down yardage. Braden Smith hauls it in for Cincinnati to move the sticks. That program in Charlottesville and all those families. As far as on the football field is, it's a punishing run for Cincinnati down to the 35-yard line. An amazing win for us if we can get this one today. So you want to win these non-conference games. They matter, and they step, they tell a story for you in a positive way. In this office, let's, let's take a look one more time at this nice play. It's an outstanding pass. That's by Pete Braden. Wiggins. Yeah. Yeah. Wiggins on the catch, too. First and goal for Cincinnati inside the 10. To the end zone and in, and that's Corey Kiner. That's a seven-yard run for Kiner, and a touchdown for the Bearcats. Corey Kiner, the former LSU Tiger, showing some juice. Look at him get off the spot behind. Who can do it from way out, as we've seen the last two weeks, two career longs, and right there at the goal line. That is now six carries for 100 yards. And right guard next to Jake Cradle, the center. On third and four. Up near the 40. Daniel Carter's got a first down for the Panthers to grease those chains. Oh! Cincinnati drinking the tackling juice. Number 10 knows where that route is going to be run. Bartholomew, on the other hand. Carter is the back to the left of Jacobin. He'll get the call. Bounce it outside, up the middle, driving near the 40. Tom, what a great run by Carter. Look at all the jump that he has to run through. Patience, patience, air in front of him. Outstanding jump. 11 yards on the fourth down play. This will be a loss of a couple for Flemister. They're fighting to knock it out. Third down. Back into third and long for the Panthers. Flag is out. Kovic on the run. Gets rid of it. Short of his receiver, Kenny Johnson, who slipped down. We cannot get behind the sticks. Here they just get a couple, but first down has been incredible for them throughout the night. Around the edge, up near the 15, Kiner. Jones flips it out. That's going to be first down yardage again on successive plays. D. Wiggins. And not being afraid to take a hit. Here comes the pressure on Jones. Cool enough to sidearm it to avoid a would-be rusher. A ball that actually looks to go for the Pitt Panthers. But they just bring four. Jones pass. Pass the 40. Henderson. Player and newcomer of the week last week. Quickly over the ball with the snap. 45-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Cincinnati keeps this drive going. From the 38 of Pitt. Jones in the pocket. 
launches it, and it's too far. We'll learn more about Phil Dracovic and his transfer to Pitt. We'll go around the ACC. What a view for that bird on this play. Fourth down, Kiner down near the 30 and a first down Cincinnati and 76 yards in this first half. Jones out on the edge, out of bounds, Ryan Montgomery. Hit a 46-yarder last week against Eastern Kentucky. And that baby is right down. Like a lot of people can't the last few years. Take care of the football, Cincinnati. Up that sideline, Smith. At the high school there in Cincinnati, Roger Bacon High School went to LSU. He's transferred back. They're glad to have him. Jones cuts his losses at the 30-yard line. Let's see if they heat it up. They give it to the back, Montgomery. Conservative on third down. To boot it away to Devonshire. Wants a fair catch and makes it successfully. Pick quarterback, bit of a struggle. Four of 13 and 56 yards he does have a TD pass. Dracovic with the football. Came out late. But as we watch this replay, is the reaction of Dracovic. That ball's out. Tom, that ball. There's going to be one more look at it. That ball's on its way out before that knee hits. They'll take a look at it up here in the replay booth. First turnover of our game. And second down for Cincinnati after the incompletion. Jones looks the other way. Gets rid of it. 22-yard line. That's a strike. Braden Smith. Here we go, big guy. Here we go. Jones throws it. End zone. Twisting attempt at the catch and made. Wow. Braden Smith. The grab for the Bearcats and a touchdown. This is one guy in the quarterback transferring in from Florida, then Arizona State, and another guy new coming in from Louisville. Looked like they've been doing this for 10 years now together. What an adjustment by Braden Smith. It's not terrible coverage. There's only one spot on that. Cincinnati has had success in this series. They've won four of the last five meetings. And now it's a 20-point lead, Jake. Just 4 of 14 for Dracovic, 142 yards total for the offense for the Panthers. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the swarm. Dracovic gets away at the 30. He's near first down yardage. It is a first down. Yeah, right back at it. Still just second down, so they got plenty of time to work here. they got to keep it going. Dracovic, he has to step up. Looks back the other way. Hangs on to the football, dropped at the 31. Is totally swarming this pit offense so far, bringing up a loss in the third down and 11 here for Dracovic. Down the sideline. Receiver trying to come back to the football. Contact there means and NC State. Some unfinished business here in the Steel City. Dracovic buys a little time. Tries to make it pay off. Throws on the run. Down inside the 35-yard line. Day Day Reynolds doing some work back there. Corleone with the big bull rush and the pressure forcing Jerkovic to run out of the pocket. Got him a little bit uncomfortable, but he's got to settle down and just go back to what he does best. Third down for Jerkovic, and he's dragged to the turf by Cincinnati. Greshik leads the way. Daniel Greshik had a great talk with him on the Zoom earlier this week. Yeah, just shakes off that would-be blocker. That's Flemister doing a good job of just running right through him. Flemister is like a like a fly on his coat. And, you know, Greshik, he said, you know, that pressure is what creates turnovers. They'll bring four. And they get there. And they gobble it up. Kiner gets dropped by the Shields. And he can't just air it out there because it would be a heck of a lot more interesting if he could, I think. Jerkovic with time, the release, and that one's too far. And a marker comes out, there's two of them. And still plenty of time in this football game to come back. Just 5 for 20 through the air for Jerkovic. There's the sixth completion of the game. And he hits Carter Johnson. The 
Yeah. First down, Panthers, right back to the line of scrimmage. Exactly, Tom. They'll pick up the tempo here, which that'll certainly help keep a defense on its heels if you can go back to back. Kovic looking left the whole way to the end zone and an attempted one-handed grab. And the reason was the defender had Kenny Johnson tied up and a flag is out. Knocking at the door trying to get their second touchdown here. Kovic trying to get away. He's being dragged backwards. And they'll rule him. The godfather has been in this backfield throughout. And look at him just run right over Jake Cradle. And right into the face. We'll get to that in just a moment. Dracovic broken up. Inside the 10 to Reynolds. And again, moments ago, Trevor with Coach Narduzzi. Defensively, the star backer for Cincinnati. Here's a fourth down. Fourth and goal. Dracovic to the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown. Sauls for the extra point. A nine-yard TD pass. They won the last meeting back in 2012. And in 2011, won here in Pittsburgh. That pass complete beyond the 40-yard line. D. Wiggins ran under it. And I think a lot of people there in pit uniforms thinking, you know, they sell this run hard. Why wouldn't you come out and try to run this football? You've had so much success. Cincinnati has missed on their last two third down conversion attempts. Jones rolls the pocket right, throws it near the sideline. For the Panther defense. Fletcher. Devonshire just inside the 15. Successful fair catch. 8,200 plus in his high school career. 71 TD passes. Open man at the 45 down the sideline. Bartholomew for Pitt and he's forced out. Gavin Bartholomew on the catch and run. Look at the big man go. Bartholomew. They're lined up in that slot. Nobody there for him. He runs by everybody in the defense. Knows how to find him. Knows exactly where he's going to be. And good looking run after the catch. That was a 60 yard pass play. That's incomplete. And a flag is out. Well, the pass break up and an interception stepping in for the injured Sammy Anderson last week. He started for him this week. Third and 10. Dracovic down the middle of the field to the end zone. And a touchdown. Gavin Barthol. Bartholomew, Gavin Bartholomew on the big 60 yarder to get him down there, and then the touchdown. Nice little throw by Dirkovic, and we've got a ball game in Pittsburgh. The Panthers go 86 yards for the top. Quickly to the line, Cincinnati. Although just a moment ago they got it on fourth down. This is Jones trying to do it himself. Fletcher back to punt with 7.26 to go in the game. Devin Shire drops the football and then covers it. Inside the 15. Mark Tholomew had the two big catches. The TD catch but also a 60 yarder prior to that. Dracovic. Looking for means, late flag. Dominating there up front. Inside of six and a half minutes to go on the fourth. Jerkovic unloads, up to grab it near the 40. Ball bouncing around, incomplete Reynolds. Had one that they hit earlier. Here's your third down and nine now. Jerkovic. Now they're staring fourth down squarely in the face. You'd think with 4.16 to go. Make sure you got an eye on Dracovic. Don't let him scramble and get you. Dracovic sacked at the 40. Jack Dingle. Just a sophomore out of Louisville Trinity High School. A power right there in Louisville where Scott Satterfield. Muy Grande, third and four right here for Pitt. 
Jones. Pass. Out of bounds. No timeouts. No way of stopping the clock for Pitt now. It's a bad play clock all the way down to one. Now that's out of bounds. Stop the clock right there. They can get a stop here. They're going to have some meat on that bone when they get the ball back. Left side. First down. 35 yard line. It's sliding down as Kiner. Tried to make a comeback in the fourth. And they certainly had their chances, James, to get the tying, if not go ahead points. Just couldn't pull it off. Bill Dracovic, 10 of 32, 179 yards, and the three TD passes.